delivered by a carrier pigeon or UPS or FedEx. This came back in my luggage from Can Jam Chicago, which there should be a video on one of my other channels about Can Jam Chicago, which reminds me I have to download the video from Can Jam Chicago. Anyway, Earman makes some of my favorite stuff. In fact, I brought this to Chicago to test headphones and stuff on, and I ended up using it like nuns, but still, the fact that I brought a Calabri with me, because it's like a $333, uh, it's a dongle DAC, but it's also battery powered, so it doesn't draw from your phone, and the thing sounds great. So when I saw they had an Earman booth there, I'm like, oh, I didn't have to bring the thing. And then they was like, oh my God, shake my hand, because you know, you don't get to see these people in real life. They're just email. And I had this set up there, and it is the Ch Amp, get it? <laughs> uh, the Champ? It's a, it's a, ch it's a Champ. Um, and it is a two unit desktop and headphone amplifier and preamplifier. So it's an Earman desktop unit, and it's heavy as fuck. And it actually put my check bag, because I took a check bag, um, over the limit by half a pound. Because this thing is like, I don't know what this weighs, but it's more than a little by a lot. And I had to take out my laptop charger, give it to pasta to take back. So, crad board. I got to hear this. It's very, very, very rare. I get to hear something at a show and then take it. Cindy Ivas is one thing, and this was another. I think he just didn't want to put it into his checked bag. So, the Earman Amp. That's nice foam. That is nice. That's high quality. Like, so, that's not throwaway foam. You keep that foam. Oh, look at the remote control. A little rechargeable remote control. That is fucking adorable. And they have two units. They have the uh, Traduto, which is the DAC, which has Bluetooth. And then they have the Amp, which is these six buttons. So half this remote won't work. But it's like, <laughs> it's an adorably mini thing and I'm gonna actually charge it while I wait. So I'm gonna use this thing. Oh, little red LED right there. Oh, it's through the perforate. I love that perforated thing they do. There's no hole. They just micro perforations, which means there's many holes into the actual thing. Oh, it's all that foam. It's all that nice foam. Echo, Kitchen 100. Okay, here's the actual ch amp. God, it is just a, like the bottom is... The bottom feels like 1990s telecom component, which is, which is like galvanized steel. Little rubber feet on top of pegs. Allen keys. Serial number 83. And the outside of the box, though, is like perfectly square aluminum chassis. Like, and it's heavy. This thing is fucking heavy. So we've got our DC input, which is a 2 times 12 volt, 1 amp, 4 pin. We've got a balanced pre-out, which is 4.4, RCA pre-outs. Then you have two sets of inputs here, and then a third input that is balanced 4.4. So I'll actually be able to use some of those fancy wires I have to feed this thing. So there's the amplifier unit. Oh, the front, I guess. I guess the front. Quarter inch, 4.4, screen, then recessed, like push buttons. Very, very nice for like, like these could be on a portable and I'd be 100% happy because you can't, Feel them until you push. There's your infrared receiver. You got a push button digital knob. It's nice and small. Oh yeah, and it says champ on the top. So let's get to the heavy part, because you literally, that, that's half the unit. The other half of the unit is in here. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Pray for me. Oh, I thought he gave these out with the other units. You see the other units that these, this, this power supply, the linear power supply, can power the rest of their equipment line. Jesus, this is heavy. What? No telecom bottom. We've got, interesting, they put slots here, like the holes couldn't be accurate enough. Same feet. Looks like they had feet, and then they're not big enough and added like these bumpers, which I'm not offended by. I'm okay with that. Also serial number 83, so match serial numbers. So here's your output for the amp, and then you have one, two, three, 12 volt, 1.5 amp linear outputs. There's your main input. There's a voltage select for 115 or 230. Um, it says made in Serbia. 
The other one says made in Europe, like they're afraid to be Serbian. And here is your 12 volt or 2x 12 volt. And your this is literally how you turn on and off the amplifier, turn on and off this monster box. So that's there, then this goes on top of that. So that is one unit essentially. And then you get, this is for the pair for here. And then these are jumpers. You get three jumpers. If you need to power anything else, 12 volt with like a standard plug, either their equipment or something else. I don't think I have any equipment that takes a 12 volt, specifically 12 volt with a standard plug. Power some external hard drives with that. We'll see, anyway. Love the packaging. I'm glad it survived transit. Some of these are a little bit sticky. Oh, they had tape around them or something. And now it's got the, the goo. Anyway, thank you to Earman for throwing these at me and making me carry them all the way back from Chicago. But at least now I get to listen to them. So, yee. For it, 43%, I got this. Don't bother. Okay. Put away things, take out the knife. Cleaning lady's just left, about to leave to Chicago. Chicago. So let's get some stuff before Chicago. That looks like a dildo. It's always just a dildo. This is the dildo box. If you order anything from Amazon and it comes in that box, it's the dildo box. Uh, this first thing I thought I had, and I didn't, so I spent $13 on 100 of them. It was nice. They came with screws and everything. These are just the plastic wire clips. Oh, fuck. They're real small. Oh, I ruined it. I fucked up. I fucked up. Look at that. That's that's minuscule. Ah. I mean, I could probably use them somewhere, but apparently I bought a hundred of them good enough for like, um, not even a mouse cable. That's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I was going to hang the light wires in the basement with that. All right. Well, that's useless. I wasn't going to do it now. I'm getting ready to leave, but it's stupid. I need like big ones, like ones that'll handle like three eighths of an inch, like a centimeter wire. Ooh, I got my jumbo CO2 meter. So uh, watch Technology Connections. Pasta does not need to link it. I'm sure you're all following Technology Connections. And one of his patrons was like, hey, you might want to check out the air quality because using a gas stove can affect your whole house's like air quality. So using the vent is supposed to be all the time. And I'm, I'm interested to know because I have quite a large amount of air. Who is that guy? That's Dr. Kaz, PhD. Well, they don't give you a last name or it's dumb. Anyway, so I just want to know the air quality and a good basic measure of air quality is what's the CO2 percentage of the house. So I'll plug this in somewhere away from the stove, like over there. And cause I don't usually run that if I'm just boiling water, but you're still burning fossil fuels inside. So it's taking oxygen, burning it and going wherever. So it's gonna be interesting to see. And this, I made sure I got one that could be powered via USB. Anything else I gotta put on here? A little, a little template for mounting it on the wall. You have wall mounts, all these nice open vents. I gotta get this to turn on. So I need, I guess a battery pack will do for now. Come with me battery pack. Does it take USB-C? No, it actually takes a weird proprietary connector on a 200 foot long cable, which is dumb. All right. Put here, put here, put here. Battery, battery low, low battery. I mean, this thing should be running like, it's just a, a light, it shouldn't, or it's just like a meter. That shouldn't be low, low power. Lithium ion, USB and battery, voltage input, five volts easy, charging cable included. Lithium ion, oh, it's charging? Does it have to turn it on? Is there an on button? Oh, there's an on button. So you can actually just have this not be on. There it is. Wow, that's clean. 420 YOLO swag, parts per million. Um, I could actually leave this like here. So it's, this thing was sitting outside. We have a hot wind today, but look how nice that is. Happy, happy face. It goes to different faces of face. Oh God, that jumped up rather quickly to now 900. <sighs> Am I breathing at it too hard? 
Because you're like an enclosed basement. I might get one for the basement too and just see how it works. So use it up here for a while, then use it down the basement. We'll read the instructions. 1236 makes a sad face. It goes up to 5,000 parts per million. So it's actually reading the parts per million of shit in the air. Keep the touch away from electromagnetic and magnetic interference. That CRT is not on. Store the touch within specifications. Do not open the unit. Keep away from dust, particular concentrates, harsh chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I forget what it was. 60 bucks? 65? I don't think it was more than that. There was a cheaper one, and there was that was the jumbo one. This is the biggest one. It was actually cheaper than the large one. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm blo I want to be able to read it from here. So we're 836, 840. It does have a very fast update. I thought it would be like a minute at a time. So if it works, I'm going to burn this and this. We'll keep this. Um, in case I do mount it, I'll keep this next to it for, for now. Welcome to the forensic detectors. Our mission is provided with high quality, affordable, innovative gas detection meters and analyzers. So anyway, there's the guy, that guy. So yeah, uh, probably shouldn't run this off battery for too long, but uh, that's cool. What does the up and down do? Oh, that dims it. Oh, we get dimmable and brightable. We get, oh, we get to pick when happiness is and when sadness is. So 900 is the happy face. Anything above 900 is, is not happy face. Noted. Oh, I wanna peel this off just for you guys. Oh, I hate what it does. Oh, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing where it doesn't peel off the plastic covering. Oh, you bitch. Oh, it fuck it, it. It didn't do it. It didn't. Nope. Oh, well. Clean enough for you guys. 